how are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are having a wonderful, glorious, and gorificous type of day today. If you're new to my channel, hi, my name is Gabe, and this is Gabe Loves Makeup, and we are so glad to have you here. When I say we, I mean you as in me, as in you, because this channel is much as your channel as it is my channel, and we welcome you here with open arms, so come on in, pull up a chair, you know, grab you a little snack, grab you a little something to drink, a little drinky drinky, a little tea, a little wine, a little something something, so, because you know, because today, we got a really fun, I'm really super excited about this. I've been waiting for this to come. This is the brand new Lancome um, Hypnos Louis, Nui as um, mascara. So I'm very, very excited about it. So if you're interested in this and you want to see how this product is going to work, um, then stick around and let's find out together. wait to dive into this mascara but before I dive into it really really quickly if you're new to my channel um just letting you know that I do work for Lancome I work for them as a regional makeup artist and I do work for all the major retailers so I go in and help them out quite a bit I did not get this in gratis I went I actually went in store and picked this up um it's only right now available on Lancome.com which is actually having a 30% discount if you are watching this between um now and Memorial Day weekend um they're doing a 30% friends and family the mascara is not on sale though so just letting you guys know that but it is on Lancome.com and it's exclusive at Ulta for only uh, for about a month or so. And then it will be at all other retailers after that. So your Macy's, your Dillard's, your Nordstrom's, your Sephora's, all of those will be getting it too. They just will not be getting it right away. So if you really want to pick this up, you have to go to Ulta first. Um, it is a $32 mascara. Um, it actually has a 0.27 ounce in it. It's made in France and it's a six month shelf life. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like. It is absolutely probably the most gorgeous mascara packaging that I've ever seen. I've been in this industry for 30 years and I've never seen a mascara that looks like this, that feels like this. I mean, it's just, it's absolutely breathtaking. I mean, I was doing some pictures with it yesterday and it's just the most stunning packaging. It's, it's pretty just to look at. I mean, $32 is an awful lot to be spending on something just to look at it, but it is absolutely gorgeous. But this is the outside packaging. It's absolutely stunning. And the name of the mascara is called Hit Those Who Eat. Um, Who Eat. Wheat, uh, like wheat, uh, it's like wheat, it's like H U I T. So instead of a hypnose eight, it's like hypnose wheat. Um, so anyway, but it is, it's really, really beautiful. The packaging looks very stunning. It's very elegant all the way around. Um, the box is full, it's pretty big. It's pretty thick for a mascara. It looks pretty thick. Um, you know, it only comes in one shade, it only comes, it comes in black, and that is all right now at the moment. Um, but, but this is what the packaging looks like. It looks very stunning. It's very sleek. It's very interesting innovative. It's very elegant. It has a very femininity to it. Um, Lancome made it to actually be a little bit more on the disruptive side. It's not a, when I say disruptive, it means that um, it's not your typical looking mascara. It looks very, you want to pick it up. You want to hold it. You want to play with it because it looks very unique. It's not your typical kind of a mascara packaging. Even the top of the mascara, as you twist it, it's very um, innovative the way that they did it. Um, it's an hourglass type almost figure. Um, it's also 100% glass, super recycled glass, so just keep that in mind too. Um, and the bristles in the inside are actually 100% vegetal bristles, so I think that's very, very cool. Um, it's a 91%, um, I'm, I'm sorry, it's 5% shea butter and it's um, eight amino acids um, in it, so it helps to really soothe and it makes the lashes feel very revitalized and very volumized, but, the, but it, yet it's still infused with skincare in it. So it's, that is really cool. And the Shea Butter actually helps to make the um, mascara a little bit easier to remove. So you can use it, remove it with warm water. You don't have to actually have to use an eye makeup remover with it. So that'll be great for um, any of you that don't like using eye makeup remover on your eyes to take mascara off. This will be easy to remove as well. Open, as you see, it kind of comes out just like that. It's so pretty. And then um, let's look at the wand. So the wand is a two-sided wand. And along with the 100% vegetal fibers in it, it actually has um, one side is to lift. It kind of gives them more of the volumizing close to the edge. And then you turn it around and it actually flips and it actually helps to pull the lash out. Um, so it's really, really beautiful. Um, it looks really pretty. 
Um, so I'm really excited. I can't wait to try it. So we are going to be, so normally when I do a mascara review, I normally don't do anything behind my eyes. I don't have a tight line on. I don't have liquid liner on. I don't have anything on or eyeshadow, which is obvious. You can't tell because um, I like to be, I want you to really see what the mascara can do. So I really try not to do anything as much as possible behind it. Shadow or anything really to make it, um, that's going to make the mascara or make it look better. I would want it to do it on its own. So I'm going to go in and look down. I'm going to look down um, in, on it and we're going to start on this one side here. And I'm going to push it up against my lash and really work it out. Ooh, it's going on really smooth. It feels very velvety. I thought it was going to feel really wet. Looking at it, it looked very wet, but I, but it's not wet. It's very velvety. I'm really, I'm like, oh, oh, that feels good. I like, it's not, so really, it's not a very, um, ooh, it's looking really pretty. It's not a very wet mascara. It's actually got a little bit of a dry feel it to it, a little bit of a, like more of, almost like a powdery kind of feel to it. So it, it feels really good, actually. So I'm going to build that up just a tad bit more, and then I'm going to flip the wand around to the other side, and we're going to work on that. That's really building nicely. A little bit on the top. Well, it is giving a nice volume. It's giving a nice lift. So this is what one eye looks versus this eye. And it goes on super quick. So it's like, it doesn't feel wet at all. It doesn't feel heavy. It feels very weightless. So unlike most mascaras when you build them, especially volumizing, it doesn't feel um, heavy at all. It feels very, very light. It, because it's, like I said, it kind of goes almost like a powder because it kind of dries almost like a powder feeling. It's very unique. So it's got a very unique kind of feel to it. Um, also too, I just took a Q-tip and basically did this right after I did it and it dried very, it dries extremely fast. It, th it feels like it's already dry. So it doesn't even feel like it's wet at all. So if you don't like mascaras and have to wait around on them to dry, you're going to definitely like this mascara because so far I can already tell that it's one of those that's going to dry really quickly. So now this is like what it looks the first coat on both lashes and I made a little bit of a mess on here for um on purpose because I wanted you guys to see what it looks like at kind of like cleaning it up but it literally just it literally just comes right off. It literally just lift it right off and it doesn't flake or anything so there's no flaking there's no anything it's literally coming off really super simple um so i could see definitely how this is going to come off really easy with warm water because it's just easily it's just coming off very nicely very um natural it's very like for it to be volumizing it's very natural so it doesn't feel weighted it's not heavy or anything so yeah it feels really light like you don't feel like you have anything on i'm curious to see what it's going to do on this second coat um and we'll do the bottom two eventually but um yeah so let's go into the second and see what happens This one's just a little bit more natural. You can definitely see the volume coming up. It's getting a little bit more, getting a little bit more drama. So we're getting a little more drama with it. So you can definitely see it kind of picking up. Um, it does have, um, you can definitely see the fibers. I can feel the fibers on it a little bit. So I can feel the fiberizing of the mascara. It still feels very lightweight. It doesn't feel heavy at all. Um, I do want to remind you that the, the Shea Butter is really hot on the ingredient list on this. So just to give you a FYI on that. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is wax free. So I don't think there's any wax in it either. Um, so just keep that in mind. So it's more of a natural kind of mascara because it's like 91% natural. So just keep that in mind that it's, you know, it's not going to be like Mr. Big or maybe some of the other ones. I think it's going to be more of that really soft volume. It's not going to be that really heavy, dramatic volume. But, um, but so far, I think it's really pretty. It feels really nice. This is what it's looking like. Um, so this is what it looks like on my lash. You guys can see. 
uh, as you guys can see what it looks like. I mean, they feel pretty volumized. I mean, I feel like they've got pretty much, at the very, it just feels so light, I can't feel it as much. I'm so used to more of like heavier mascaras, so, um, it feels very, very light though. So I'm gonna wear this just a little bit. I just wanna see what it's gonna wear and I've gotta do um, some makeup further. So I'm gonna come right back and with a little bit more of, um, a little bit more of a fuller lip, fuller face and everything. And um, and then we will um, give my final thoughts on it. Mm, you guys, this color is everything, is everything. This is the uh, Mademoiselle Isabella, the drama mat from the Lancome La Absolute Rouge. It is so pretty, is it not? It's so beautiful. So this is named after Isabella Rossellini. Um, each one of the models, Amanda has one, Lupita has one, everybody has one, um, and so she has one too. So this is the color. I um, hope you like the look. I used them. Um, I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video. I did do the Taunt Adol Stick Foundation. We did the Taunt Adol Concealer. Um, you know, I did a um. I did the mascara, of course, and then I did a little bit of the Natasha Denona, the glam. We kind of smudged it out and made it look really pretty and soft to go with it. And then I took a little bit of the Lancome, the Lancome Oleo Serum. You know, I really love this stuff. You'll see this in my skincare video, but I put a little bit of this all over a little bit at the top of it to give me that little bit last like skin appearance to my skin, but it looks so beautiful. I love the way the look turned out. Um, but now let's quit running my mouth about that and let's talk about the mascara. So the mascara is, it gives a, a really nice A minus for me. And the reason why I'm gonna say a minus is because it the only thing about it is, is it does exactly what I thought it was gonna do. It's very natural. It's like a volume and but it's like a very extremely natural volume. It's not like anything like the Mr. Big. Like Mr. Big is very if it's another one of Lancome mascara if you're not familiar with Lancome. But it's another very volumizing, really thickening mascara. Um, it makes your lashes look really false. And then there's Hypnos Drama, which also gives a lot of volume as well. Um, you know, this one is, it gives you the volume, but it does it in a very natural way. It's very soft. It's very velvety. It's very fresh. It's very, um, if you don't like mascara and you have very sensitive eyes or if you have very, um, your lashes are very brittle and they're very, you know, they're very, um, hard or they've broken off some, this would be a really good mascara for you because it's very soothing. It feels very soft when you put it on the lashes. It doesn't dry down. It feels very soft when you touch your lashes. They don't feel thick and sticky and clumpy or they're hard. They feel very soft. Um, I mean, it just feels all around. It feels, it feels really very lightweight too. You don't feel it at all. It feels absolutely weightless. Like I feel like there's nothing on my lashes. Like I just feel... I feel a little bit more of the shadow than I feel my lashes, if that makes any sense. Um, it is just a really beautiful mascara. It does feel really good. It, it's just more on the natural side. Um, I think this would be a very good everyday mascara. So if you're looking for a really good daily, day-to-day -day mascara, but with a little bit of that really nice volume, but very soft and very gentle. Um, and you know, if you're looking for something a little bit more along that vegan type formula or very natural type formula, this would be your this would be your guy. Um, I have to tell you though, the brush is so cool. It feels really good. And it even feels smooth when you go in and out with the brush. When it comes out, it feels like you can feel it pulling, but it's very soft-like. It's just a very unique pack packaging. The packaging is very innovative. It's very feminine. It's very sleek. It's very beautiful. Um, just that alone and the glass packaging, it feels really good in the hands. Um, it just feels really nice. It's just a nice all-around feel-good mascara. Um, I just, again, I just think this is a good everyday mascara. I, to me, though, I like a lot of volume. So, this would be a good daily one for me. But as far as, like, really doing these, like when I do these or I do pictures or I'm doing something where I'm, especially if I have to do falsies or something. I like a little bit more of a thickening mascara, a little bit more thicker. So I love Mr. Big. That's my favorite from Lancome. Um, and I also love the Lash Idol, but, um, but Idol is more, it's got a little bit more of that, um, it's, it's lengthening, but yet it's got a little thickening to it, but it's more of a pretty fluttery lash. Um, I really love it. And the Grandiose Extreme has got a really nice volume too. Um, I don't really use, haven't used that one, um, I don't think much on my channel, but I do love that mascara. It is a really good one as well. Defenacils is a little bit more of that natural, but it's more separating and lengthening. So if you're a Defenacils customer, if you've loved Defenacils for a long time, this may be something you may like because it's very, it's, 
The Venezuelans is harder though, because you remember this, uh, this if I'm not mistaken again, now don't uh, quote me on it, but I think this does not contain wax. So it doesn't have the waxes that build up and feel heavy on my eye. It's very lightweight, so there's no heaviness at all. So it really feels like almost like you're wearing nothing. So you may actually really like this. Again, if you like a natural or if you want something very natural and light, I think you would like it. Um, You know, but with that said, guys, I think I pretty much sums it up for me. I really like it. I probably, I figured that I would, but I knew that it was going to be that more natural kind of volume for me and not the full out volume that Drama or Mr. Big gives. Um, so I knew that that was going to probably be it because most natural mascaras usually have that kind of feel for me that they're very more lighter weight and they just don't, they don't give as much volume, but I love it. I think it's great. So right. if you're interested in this mascara, if this is something that you're interested in, um, you know, are you, would it be something you would pick up maybe later in the future if you don't not interested right here in the moment i mean you know, please let us know down in the comments down below and thank you so much for being here you know please if you've um, stayed this long <laughs> you've hung around this long you know make sure that you um click and subscribe we would love to have you here our little family here um at gay blues makeup and um you know with that said be safe guys be strong be proud stand tall love yourself and remember to reach out and tell somebody that you love them today because life is too short and also remember to, um, you know, be a little kind to someone today because a little kindness goes an awful long way. A good morning, a hello, you know, anything can make somebody's day. And with that said, guys, we will see you again in the next episode. So peace out. Take care. Bye. And see you later.